guys and welcome back to my channel so today I am really happy and kind of excited to be doing this video this is something I have been wanting to do for a really long time perfumes is one of my favorite things ever I'm definitely a bit of a collector when it comes to fragrances and perfumes it's one of my like little hobbies to go and smell fragrances and to see what's new and to just discover like the range of scents that are out there. Fragrances just have a really huge impact on me and it's something that I love. Over the last few years, I've definitely accumulated quite a beautiful collection of fragrances and I wanna share my favorite ones with you guys today. I wanna give you guys some really, really good recommendations so that maybe you could note some of these down that you think you might like and then go have a smell because it is quite difficult to describe a scent, but I'm going to describe these fragrances in the way that I see them and maybe some of you guys can relate to that and hopefully get some nice recommendations. I keep all my fragrances on a little table in my bedroom, but I've gone ahead and just picked out the best ones or my favorite ones currently. So I'm going to be picking... <laughs> we don't want that one to fall. So I'm going to go through them one by one and share why I love them. I'm going to start with the newest fragrance that I've bought. This is from Prada. This is called La Femme, which means the woman. I have been obsessed with this perfume ever since I bought it. I wear it every single day and it's definitely my current like favorite perfume. This is a beautiful feminine fragrance. It's definitely on the floral side and it's a little bit more mature and sophisticated. It's very soft and creamy and there's a little bit of like a beachy essence to it, like a summery essence and it's absolutely amazing. I feel like it's quite powerful and assertive. Like it's like a real woman fragrance but who is also a little bit flirty and like a boss like this is a boss fragrance it's like the perfect mix of floral sensual and a little bit of beachiness in there it's not bitchiness beachiness <laughs> like sunshine and happiness in here as well and a little side note i really love the packaging of this as well it's in this beautiful gold and white color it just looks so pretty on my table. Another fragrance I really love is from Hermes. This is called Jour d'Hermes, which in French just means day. Jour means day, so day Hermes <laughs> fragrance. Assuming that this is meant to be worn during the day. For me, this is a very fresh scent. It's very lightweight and it's really like easy and breezy. I am not usually a big fan of citrus fragrances at all. I've never really been, but this perfume is so good. It has a, a the citrus in here is not overpowering. It's just perfect and it really gives like a nice fresh uplifting feel to the fragrance. This is a fragrance that I can put on when I've just gotten out of the shower and I just want something really lightweight some fragrances for me I, I could only wear them when i really feel done like i have to have you know some type of outfit on and maybe my makeup done and then the perfume fits with that but this is like a minimalistic perfume i imagine like an older woman shopping at hermes or at some beautiful department store and this is the fragrance that she's wearing so it is sophisticated it smells kind of rich and expensive but it's not overpowering like it's a very elegant and classic but a bit of fun fragrance as well next i want to talk about my favorite summer beachy scent this is called bronze goddess by estee lauder as you can see i've also used this one quite a bit and this is like beach in a bottle being in the sunshine having on sunscreen or you know, like tanning lotion and that smell for me is so good there's also some beautiful floral notes in here but the main standout of this perfume is really that it smells like summer whenever i smell this perfume i get like butterflies in my stomach because this is the perfume that i wore all throughout last summer i have so many good memories from wearing this perfume that it just it's like a time warp you know it just like takes me back and it, it's so like oh it's so good another really nice summery beachy fragrance is from tom ford this is the fleur de portofino this for me is more like 
it's more rich and it's more it has a bit more of like a citrusy feel to it i believe this has quite a lot of jasmine notes in it it's very crisp it's a summer fragrance but i think it's more on the cool tone side like i don't feel any heat from this fragrance which is actually nice because it is very refreshing to wear in the summer if it's super hot it's very pure it's very fresh and crisp and it's another really nice summertime fragrance this next perfume is one that i have been wearing for many many years it's definitely my like oldest fragrance that i have and that i've purchased many many bottles of it is the coco mademoiselle perfume from chanel to me this perfume is iconic it has stood the test of time I have worn this for so long. I have worn this perfume throughout so many different, you know, experiences in my life and different events and like living in different places. When I smell this perfume, it's just like, it's like a whole big vault of memories. And the fact that I have worn this for so long and I haven't gotten sick of it is because the scent is to me just so beautiful. It's super fresh. It has a little bit of an oriental feel to it. It's very sophisticated but sensual at the same time. Even though I love a lot of other perfumes, this is one that I know for sure I'm always going to be buying and it's just a classic in my collection. It's really beautiful for both the day because it is quite fresh, but it also works at night like if you want to feel a bit more sensual and mysterious. It's it's just such a well-rounded fragrance and I really love Chanel perfumes. I also have the Chanel number no. 5. I have the Chanel Allure perfume. I feel like the brand just embodies this beautiful like femininity but powerfulness at the same time. My next favorite I purchased last summer in Barcelona. It is from a brand called Mimo Paris and this is the Granada perfume. I really love this whole brand like Mimo Paris. They make really really nice fragrances and this is just one of my favorites. They have two others that I I keep like eyeing them like when I go to the store I keep smelling them this one is Granada this is again something that's a little bit more sophisticated but it has this beautiful floral kind of fruitiness to it and the base notes I believe it's like amber and vanilla and it's a little bit more woody but the top notes it's like a beautiful floral fruitiness it definitely has some interesting levels to it it's not a very straightforward perfume which none of these perfumes i would say are straightforward they're all kind of complex and a bit mysterious and like beautiful mixes of scents which is usually what i like i also find this to be quite romantic it's really nice for a date night it does have quite a bit of jasmine in here as well which i really really love the next perfume is this prada candy perfume and this is such a special fragrance. This is a very, very unique perfume in my collection. I don't have anything else that really smells like this. It's very sweet, of course, as the name suggests. It's like candy. It's like a gourmand candy, you know, like when you go into those sweet shops. But surprisingly, it's not a headachey type of scent. I have smelled some sweet fragrances that just, it's like nauseating. It's like a very sophisticated candy shop <laughs> for me this is more of a fun fragrance it's very uplifting and playful there is also like a little bit of a musky kind of caramel base in here as well it is so beautiful it's a very unique fragrance this next fragrance i spoke about in my february favorites this is from alexander mcqueen this is again quite a floral fragrance but not like a overpowering fragrance it has jasmine tuberose Yuling Yulang, I think that's how you say it. I think the concept of this was to use flowers that bloom at night. There is quite an interesting like little story behind this fragrance, but then it has that beautiful beachiness that I love and that like summer carefree kind of twist to it as well. I see this on a pretty like established older woman, but not like a boring woman. An older woman that really is like an inspiration and someone who, you know, just makes moves and is super confident and super fun and just like is a really great person. That's kind of what this fragrance is to me. And this last fragrance I want to talk about is one that I don't wear so much um, as of the last few months, 
but it is definitely one of my favorite perfumes just like in general it's one that I've had for a long time this is from Armani it's from their Privé collection and it's the Rose Darabi this is a really beautiful oud perfume which is not too overpowering and it has a beautiful rose overlay it just really reminds me of being in the Middle East and I think Middle Eastern women have such beautiful taste and they just have this elegance about them. This is a fragrance that really reminds me of that type of woman. I think of a very strong woman. I think of someone who's ultra feminine, a little bit sensual. This is another kind of like boss fragrance for me. I feel like it has a pretty expensive and classic feel to it. Usually when I wear this, I like to mix it with my Coco Mademoiselle perfume. So those are my favorite perfumes from my collection at the moment. I really hope that you guys enjoyed, maybe got some ideas or inspirations for new fragrances to try. It is really difficult to describe perfumes, but I hope that I gave you kind of an idea and then you can go and smell the ones that you think you would be interested in. I would love to know what your favorite fragrances are. You can let me know below in the comments. I will definitely make a note of some of them and then go and smell them because I like to see what you guys are into as well. I will have all the names and everything linked below in the description box as well if you guys want more information i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and as always you can find me on my social media i am on instagram and snapchat both of those are at annie jaffrey thanks again so much for watching and i will see you guys soon bye guys